For those of you who don't know it, Ryan Reynolds owns a telecommunications company called Mint Mobile. Now, I, as an actor, I think he's he's a great actor. I'm sure that lots of women are in love with him because he's very attractive and he keeps himself fit and stuff like that, and he's very witty. The same kind of wit and charm that you might expect from a, a psychopath uh, or a narcissist. Um, but, yeah. He is super rich, super famous, and apparently... I don't, I don't think he runs Mint Mobile. I really don't know, though. I don't know if he is actually a businessman or if he's just a, you know, just invested money in it and lets other people run the business. I would assume that that's what he does. You know, he's probably pretty busy you know, as an actor, bit playing Deadpool and all these other roles. Um, and I've enjoyed his movies. But this isn't really about Ryan Reynolds. This is about Mint Mobile. So I've been a Mint Mobile customer for, oh, I don't know, um... Jeez, I think it's now been, three plus years, yeah, three plus years that I've been a Mint Mobile customer. When I first um, switched to Mint Mobile, I saw comments from some people about how they had problems with Mint, uh, you know, getting their service and, and getting their phone number transferred to Mint or getting their no, phone number transferred away from Mint when they left Mint. And <clears throat> I had a small problem wherein after I had signed up and paid with Mint, every day or so they would send me a message saying that my transaction or my, um, so there was something going on with my service. I don't remember anymore what it was. And I called them up and I complained to them about it. And I said, look, you know, I'm getting these messages saying it's, it's, this thing isn't done and it's done. And they looked and, yep, you're right, it's done. Don't worry, it's going to stop. It didn't stop. It carried on for at least, like, I think it was like another month after that. Which just kind of tells you something about Mint Mobile. Um, then... <clears throat> You know, everything was fine. It was you know, on the T-Mobile network, which isn't the best network there is, but, you know, it was fine. Um, I didn't feel like I was getting ripped off or anything like that. Um, until yesterday. Now, I had been re uh, receiving messages um, over the past several days reminding me that it was almost time to uh, renew or change my plan with Mint. And I had been on a one-year unlimited plan, um, the, the maximum. Because at, that um, at the time that I had renewed, I had need of a lot of data. And I, shortly after that, I had never had needed that again. And I never changed it back to one that was more in, in line with what I needed. Um, so I went in and I changed my plan to the, the, the smallest one for unlimited data, which is kind of ironic when you think about the fact that it's not unlimited when there's a limit. Um, but you know, the, it was, it was still, you know, like four gigabytes a month. I think it is. And I did that like two, three days ago. And then last night, just before I was going to go to bed, I get this message from a uh, text message from T-Mobile. Oh, sorry, from Mint Mobile, saying, "Oh, gosh, there's something wrong with your uh, payment. It didn't go through. Uh, please log on to correct this." So I naturally decided, "Okay, I don't know what the heck happened. I don't think that I had a different card number in there, but I may have used a temporary card number." Um, which is, is likely. So I logged, I tried to log in. Uh, I went to the Mint Mobile page and, um, that it gave me for logging in, and it was blank. And I thought it was, you know, extensions on my browser, but I just, you know, I fixed that. And the only thing that I could see on the Mint Mobile login page was the, the chat icon in the bottom right-hand corner. I thought, well, that's odd. Why can't I get it to work? So I thought, well, I'll try it on my phone. 
you know, it was doubly confusing because, you know, two, three days ago when I had gone on to uh, Mint Mobile to change my, uh, my plan, I'd had no problems whatsoever logging in. So then I tried to browse uh, on my phone instead to Mint Mobile and I got the exact same problem. The Mint Mobile login page was blank except for the um, chat icon. I thought, well, what the heck's going on? So then I tried my app and my app wouldn't let me log in either. It gave me an error. <clears throat> and I was like, this is just stupid. I just want to fix my, my payment and I can't do it because I can't get in. So I, I used the chat icon and I got this guy on the phone or gal, I don't really know. Uh, it was a name I don't you know, really know whether it's a male or female. And I told him what's going on. Oh, hold on. And, and um, oh, um, can you clear the cache of your browser? And I was like, it's happening on two different browsers on two different devices and the app. It's not the cache. And then uh, they wanted me to um, uh, try using private browsing, which is, you know, sometimes called incognito. And I was like, this is not the problem. <clears throat> But, I, you know, I tried anyways. You know, I tried clearing the cache. It didn't make a difference. I tried private browsing. It didn't make a difference. And clearly what... And, and then I... He said, well, reinstall the app. I was like, oh, my God, this is not going to help. So I reinstalled the app, and I couldn't log in. It said... Um, and I tried to use forget password and... Um, or forgot password. And it said, my phone number doesn't exist. So... What I've come to the conclusion is, is that, number one, customer service doesn't know Jack. Number two, um, the way that Mint Mobile deals with customers who haven't paid is they turn off your phone number and they block you from logging in to Mint Mobile to fix your payment problem. Yeah, that's utterly stupid. I was fully prepared to switch, uh, sorry, to pay, and now I feel like switching to a different company because that is a, a very childish and punitive way to deal with a, com a customer who just wants to fix their payment so they can have their service. So now I'm waiting for a phone call from my doctor about my heart, and I can't get phone calls, and I can't make phone calls on that phone because of Mint Mobile's childish and unprofessional behavior just because there's something wrong with my payment. And I know that there's not a lack of money in my bank account because when I thought of that, when I saw that, I was like, oh, oh my God, what if somebody got my account access and, and have, has robbed me? Because, you know, it happens all the time. And I checked, nope, everything's fine. So, yeah, the guy that, or gal that I was talking to finally said, well, you know, there's, uh, I'm going to, send this over to tech support and would you like to talk to them? I was like, yes, hello. Uh, you know, and I told the person, hey, it's my bedtime. I need to go to bed now. And it's past my bedtime. And I was really getting irritated. And so he op they open up a ticket and they say, you'll get a response in 24 to 48 hours. So now not only do I not have a phone number that I can use, I am not going to get a response about this problem for what, that was caused by Mint Mobile blocking me for the next one to two days, which is utterly ridiculous. So no matter what happens with the outcome of Mint Mobile uh, and their, their poor treatment of me, um, this video is going to remain up because I want people to understand that Mint Mobile treats customers like crap if there's a problem and it's not right and Ryan Reynolds that's what I have to say to you and Mint Mobile so thanks for watching I hope you don't have problems with Mint, with Mint Mobile God forbid Mint Mobile should ever seem uh, I don't know what to say anymore ah. thanks for watching and have a good day